Hello everybody, my name is Sassin Taranum and today I'll be talking about Nuremberg Metai and Nuremberg Leader experiments. So far we all know that if RNA had to provide a template for protein production, then the template would have three base non-overlapping codes. So the only question that is left to ask now is that which code encodes for which amino acid. In order to find the answer, Nuremberg and Mattei conducted their experiment and they were the first one to discover that specific RNA sequences codes for specific amino acids. So how did they conduct this experiment? In this experiment, they used polyU. PolyU is nothing but long stream of use. They added this PolyU to this test tube that had cell-free translation system and one labeled amino acid along with 19 non-labeled amino acid. The amino acids were radioactively labeled. The test tube was kept under uh, or, the, uh, were, or were incubated under 37 degrees Celsius where the materials inside the test tube translated. After that, the protein was filtered and the filter paper was um, checked for radioactivity. This procedure was repeated in 20 uh, test tubes because each of them contained differently labeled amino acids. After the experiment, only one test tube contains radioactively labeled protein, which indicates that this test tube contained the uh, newly synthesized protein. To conclude, Nuremberg and Mate came to this decision that UUU specified the amino acid phenylalanine. They repeated this experiment with poly A, poly C, and poly G and, and, and ended up with the decision that AAA encoded the amino acid lysine, CCC encoded the amino acid um, proline, and GGG did not include any other um, any uh, amino acids. After that, Nuremberg uh, partnered with another scientist named Leder. They conducted their experiment a little bit differently. In this um, uh, experiment, they had used trinucleotides, which are uh, sh very short mRNAs with known codons. These uh, trinucleotides were added with a mixture of ribosome and tRNA, where the tRNAs were attached with radioactively uh, labeled amino acids. The ribosome added tRNA and mRNA together. After this, the mixture was filtered through nitrocellulose filter, and the filter paper was checked for uh, radioactivity. The filter paper would have radioactivity if the trinucleotides code for the trinucleotides codes the radioactive amino acid. This is how they figured out or identified 61 codons of 64 codons. So what happened to the three codons, the, late, the last three codons? They were considered as top codons. This is how Nuremberg Matei and Nuremberg Leader conducted their experiments and came to conclusion that RNA, uh, specific RNA had uh, uh, codes, specific codes for specific amino acids. Thank you for watching.